to infinity and beyond. <laughs> Kids love sending mail to the North Pole at Christmas. Yeah, but now children are putting their stamp on mail heading out of this world. Things here at the homestead are historic. Not a lot changes and guests like it that way. It's a place to step back in time. But one activity is stepping into the future, postcards to space. I was like, wow, that's so cool. I love space. I just love thinking about like what's all up there. Brooke and Allison Hess jumped at the chance to create their own postcards that will be shipped on a rocket to outer space. I drew the moon and you could like add like fuel there and then you could just like stop at the moon like a little pit stop and then go to like Mars or something. I really like to draw and I wanted to incorporate like a pencil. It's this is kind of just like exploration and not knowing like what's out there. Their imaginations ran wild as they filled out the blank card. It's all part of a new space project called Blue Origin from Amazon CEO. And to think that a little piece of paper that they're going to color on is going to be put on one of the new Shepard rockets, sent to outer space, stamped with flown to space, and then sent back to them. I mean, I can't imagine a cooler memento for a kid than something like that. Creating this activity is part of the homestead's effort to provide educational activities for kids during a time they often learn sitting in front of a screen. For some students, it may be hard to stay engaged. So we came up with a list of educational resources in this area. And the idea of postcards to space is certainly thinking outside the box. Just so excited that something I drew is going to out of this world. <laughs> I'm probably going to frame it. I'm going to remember this forever and just look back. I mean, how cool was that for kids? Oh, it's very cool. Yeah. Very so cool. you can actually create your own postcard to send to space. You don't have to be at the homestead to do so. And we have the details on our website. Just log on to WSLS.com. All right. And when do they get them back? Do you know? I mean, so I don't know. I don't yeah. know what the turnaround time is, but right. they're shipped to a certain you know place where the rocket is, put on the rocket, sent up stamped and then it comes back to their house I see. so it comes directly back to the child so, so th this is one time when we can't blame the postal service no. <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't if it get takes back a little longer it's, it's, it's going to space it's been out of this world that's right